I'm in the garden right now, and I want to show you something. Um, thank God for light. <laughs> it's around nine o'clock right now. It's pretty, pretty cool. But I want to show you my pineapple. This pineapple I've had here in this spot since 2012. Okay. I've had this pineapple here in this same spot, the same one, this very same one right here since 2012. And this year is when I um, put in all this mulch, as you can see right here. It's not, it's top, the surface of it is very, it's still got big pieces. But as you dig deep inside, as you dig, I'm sorry, as you dig deep under, it starts to, you know, get more finer, powderier, things like that. But what, why I'm making this video, I want to show you this pineapple. Um, like I said before, I've had this plant here in the same spot since 2012. The first of it, first, the first, um, it, it wasn't, it didn't have this, it just had this. It, it was, this was the stock of it right here, as you can see, since 2012. And now it moved, it started to crawl, so now it's walking this way. It's walking this way, and it's giving me fruit. Um, this plant has given me fruit maybe uh, twice or three times. I can't. I'm not. I can't remember. But um, don't once it fruits, you know this this part of the plant right here, the top. You can cut it and just place it in the ground, and it'll give you another pineapple. That's why I love pineapple plants because it's forever propagating. It's forever. Um, like once you have one pineapple. Once you have that, you can have a pineapple for the rest of your life. And uh, since I had this thing since 2012, and this was the first one right here, and then they give me this. And now, once I harvest this right here, it's shooting me out a different one, another one right here. As you can see, there goes a pineapple top. So this is this plant. It can probably last you a lifetime if you know how to take care of it. Um, it just keeps putting out new tops. Or you can just cut, simply cut this. Once this grows bigger, cut this and place it in the ground, move it elsewhere. And this will still give you more tops like this. This is what I wanted to show you. The first, I remember the first time I harvested pineapple, it was very green and it was very big. It was probably, this, this is right here is the base of it. It's probably like four inches, four to five inches long. Um, the first time I grew it, the first time 2012, this was from here to there. It was a very big pineapple. It was a very, very big one. But I harvested it at the wrong time. It was very green. This is this is what I didn't know. I was very I was so anxious to pull out the ground. I just cut it and I ate it and it was very like sour. It wasn't sweet at all. But in order for your pineapple to be sweet, it's gotta be yellow like this. Once it's yellow like this, then you can cut it now, leave it in your house. But me I like to leave it. I like to leave this on the plant until the whole thing is yellow. Once the whole thing is yellow, then you know it's very sweet. It won't be as, it won't be as acidic. It won't burn your tongue. It won't like give you all this crazy chappy lips. You want to wait until it's very ripe so it can give you the beneficial sweetness, and sugars, and carbs that really you need. Um, and then after you eat it, you know you can simply plant this into the ground and bam. Pineapple forever. But isn't that neat? It's forever grown since two since since 2012. Right here, since 2012. This is it. I put it on the ground. And now it's walking this way. As you can see, and it's gonna just keep walking. But it's pretty cool. I thought I'd share this with you guys.